So welcome to the next episode of FCTV. Today we're joined by Lee Klutz and Alan Rogers from the Global Leader in Analogs Roles, Hopper Corporation of America. Welcome, guys. Thanks. Thank you, Kevin, and we appreciate the opportunity to be on your program today. Absolutely, and a very impressive facility. Thank you for the tour. Great. Glad you guys enjoyed the tour. Absolutely. So we all know that Hopper is a leader in innovation, quality, and service. Uh, today, we really want to focus on the innovation part of it. So if you could tell our audience, what can we expect from Hopper Corporation in 2018 that's unique and special? Well, we have a lot that's going on, um, and we're very excited uh, to introduce in 2018 a lot of new products and innovation. Um, as you know, Harper's divided into multiple divisions, and one of our divisions is Harper Scientific Division, and we have a few new products coming out. One uh, being our new QD printer. It's pretty much an upgrade, or it is an upgrade, of the QD proofer. Okay. Now, how, how does the... Uh the QD printer differ from the Q QD proofer, and, and how's it better for the customer? Yeah, great question. And what it is, is it's more of a digital format, and you can program with your feeds and speeds and, and things like that, and also it has an uh, uh, adjustable table to where instead of buying two different type printers or proofers, you can buy one, and you can buy your plus size table top for that to just interchange it out and so you're just using one unit and you're able to perform multiple jobs things like that. And that's interesting. Now, <clears throat> is that going to make it faster for the printer, um, more accurate or, or, or kind of both? It's going to do a little bit of both. Um, it's definitely a, a faster change outs and then with the speeds. So it's also if you're going to pick up your, your speed on press. So with having a digital uh, base on there and be able to program it, you can now match your speeds of your press or at least get pretty close to it um, to when you're doing your drawdowns for faster and quicker and more accurate color matching. Interesting. How about compatibility, backward compatibility? You know, is, uh, is the printer compatible with the, uh, the proofer? It absolutely is in the component side of things. Um, okay. It was important for us because we know that the tooling with the print heads and the handles and things, because there's so many different varieties, because you have your Flexo handle, your Gravir handle, and things like that. So we wanted to make those able to be compatible with the new printer, and they are. So you don't have to go out and buy a whole new components and uh, proofer heads and things like that. So you can just transfer them right over to the printer. That sounds great. I mean, clearly, you guys revolutionized proofing with the uh, original Q QD proofer, and it sounds like you're doing it again with the printer. It's come a long way from the, the manual to the motorized and now to the, the printer. Yeah, congratulations. Well, so, so new engravings for, for this year in 2018, but you were also kind of hinting or talking about something with me off air. You, you want to introduce that here today? Uh, I'll give a little blip, but we're not really going to go in a whole lot of detail about it. Um, perhaps you can have me on, a, on the next show or something. Well, if you promise to tell us what it is next time, we'll, we'll do another episode when you're ready. Absolutely. Uh, Just a little teaser out there. It is, it is a evolution of analogs technology. Um, and we're very excited about it and definitely going to be hitting the market here soon. How are you guys going to communicate this in an effective way to the industry? Yeah. Well, glad you asked that, Kevin, because I think as an industry co-supplier and partner with Harper, you're very familiar with our Harper Roadshow concept. Yeah, we've participated in a number of those. Fantastic yeah. event. Absolutely, and we're going to continue to use that format to kind of get the word out about this new technology. And at the same time, we're talking about revolutionizing analogs technology, we're also going to use 2018 to kind of revolutionize the Harper Roadshow format. Really? What, how, how is that format going to change? What's new? Well, what's going to be new is, uh, as you're very well familiar, the Harper Roadshow is our opportunity to kind of educate our customers on the latest technologies and advancements. And it's normally a technical session where we give technical seminars, yeah. which is important to educate the customers. But we're going to take it to a different level, and now we're going to continue with the technical sessions, but we're also going to invite more co-suppliers to participate, and we're going to have a separate room that's going to be a tabletop format forum expo. So thank you everybody for joining us. Uh, we hope uh, you've enjoyed today's program, and we look forward to seeing you uh, in future episodes.